Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike Chen. It's Dan Chen. Welcome to our new channel, Beyond Science Part 2. In this channel, we're gonna cover topics that's not just restricted to science or mysteries or scary stuff. We're gonna do whatever is out there that we find interesting. But we might have mystery stuff too. Of course. You know, so can't leave that out. We're gonna hit you up with a bunch of infotainment, hit you up with uh, some discussions, our opinions. So hopefully you can find this channel interesting. In this video, let's talk about vacations for a little bit. Who okay. doesn't love vacations? Uh, everybody. What's one place you love to go? I love to go to France. You're, you, you've been to France. I've been to France. But you want to go back? Yeah, why not? I mean, Paris? Yeah, yeah, like croissants all day, cappuccinos. Wow, how strange! Beautiful, beautiful cities. Yeah, yeah. I personally didn't like Paris that much because to me, I feel like French food was way overrated. Oh, gras. Yeah, so. escargot. Mm -hmm. Very heavily buttered. I mean, at least for me, I'm not only going there for food. So of course, I like the architecture, the museums, yeah. Sacre Coeur. You know, all the historical places. Everything was nice, I enjoyed it. I don't feel like it was a place that I felt I have to go back again once Whoa. I saw everything. Yeah, but also it's not going away anytime soon. You can go anytime. Exactly, unlike some of the other places in the world that might be disappearing within the next few decades due to either climate change or other disruptive factors. Wait, you mean like disappearing like Bermuda Triangle disappearing? No, I mean disappearing like it will just sink. Oh yeah, yeah, or yeah. you know, maybe go pop into another dimension. Who knows? But you might lose the chance to check out these phenomenal destinations. So here are eight amazing places around the world to visit before they disappear. Number one on our list is the Galapagos Islands, which is an isolated group of volcanic islands in the Pacific Ocean. Now I'm sure you've all heard about these islands in biology class while learning about Darwin and how the birds he observed on the island helped them develop his theory of evolution. But the Galapagos isn't just famous because of Darwin's visits there, it's also known for its stunning biodiversity. Many species, such as the giant tortoise, are so unique that they aren't found anywhere else in the world. Sadly, the islands are endangered due to poaching, pollution, rising sea levels, and tourism. It's kind of ironic that we're telling you to visit the Galapagos when the reason it's disappearing is because of the increasing visits by tourists. Number two on our list is another group of islands, the Maldives. I don't know about you, but when I think of vacation, I picture palm trees, light blue crystal clear waters, and beautiful white sanded beaches. That's pretty much the Maldives in a nutshell. The Republic of the Maldives is an island country situated in the Indian Ocean. The Maldives consists of 99% water and 1% land and stands on top of an underwater mountain range. That's like swimming on top of mountains. The Maldives is known to be a romantic destination with five-star hotels, restaurants, diving, surfing, snorkeling. So if you're ever thinking of a place to go for your honeymoon before the islands completely disappear, book your ticket and go there now. Sadly, the islands of the Maldives are disappearing because they're only five feet above sea level. Greenhouse gases are contributing to rising sea levels and it's predicted that tides will flood the islands by the turn of the century. Number three is Venice, and this is definitely on my bucket list. Venice is a beautiful coastal city in Italy, home of the famous Grand Canal. Venice is also one of those cities that you probably don't want to go alone because uh, it's kind of lonely riding around in one of those boats by yourself. But whether you're interested in religion, art, architecture, or you just want to take artsy Instagram photos, Venice is the destination for you. You're probably thinking Venice is going to disappear, but it's perfectly fine. My cousin just went there last week. But the reality is it isn't. Since the city is filled with canals and waterways, it suffers greatly when water levels rise. High rainfalls and high tides have already caused much destruction, totaling up to tens of millions of dollars of damage in Venice. So before it submerges completely underwater, take some time to see the beautiful city with your own eyes. And make sure to take someone or something you love when you go there. For me, I'm gonna take the love of my life, hot oil. Fourth on our list is Africa's Congo Basin, also known as the Congo. This region is situated in West Equatorial Africa and is home to some of the largest tropical rainforests in the world. It's also home to thousands of species, many of which are endangered. We're talking about forest elephants, chimpanzees, and even mountain gorillas. Can you believe that 50% of the Congo Basin forest is now reserved for logging? The Congo Basin loses around 1.5 million hectare acres of forest cover every year. That's like twice the size of Maryland. So take the chance to visit this large biodiverse area and its fascinating creatures before it disappears from the earth for good. 
Next on our list is the Great Barrier Reef. If you're one of those people who are afraid of poisonous jellyfish, uh, huge pythons, crocodiles, uh, poisonous insects, then maybe you should stay out of Australia. Okay, I'm just kidding. The reef is one of Australia's most beautiful natural gifts and is surrounded by an abundance of marine life and coral systems. Around the reef are also hundreds of breathtaking tropical islands and beaches. The size of the entire reef is bigger than the Great Wall of China. I mean, you can see the reef from space. You can go scuba diving there, take selfies with fish, uh, maybe run into a dolphin or a shark. The shark bites you. Okay, remember to punch the shark in the nose. Unfortunately, the Great Reef is dying. The corals are bleaching, which is what happens when corals push away the algae that give them their wondrous colors and turn white. This happens when water temperature rises and corals are not used to the change. Climate change is killing one of the most beautiful places in the world. So take the chance to visit the Great Coral Reef before it loses all its original color. And don't forget your shark repellent. Did I make those? Number six on our list is the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is a mausoleum made of white marble in Uttar Pradesh, India. It was built between 1631 and 1648 under the orders of the emperor at the time, Shah Jahan. He built the mausoleum in loving memory of his wife. You can see his affection towards his wife by the work and dedication put into building the Taj Mahal, which turned out absolutely beautiful. Not only does it represent traditional art in India, but it's also one of the greatest architectural achievements in Indo-Islamic architecture. One could even say it's a piece of architectural perfection. If your husband builds something one-tenth as grandois as the Taj Mahal, well, he's a keeper. Although it is a thing of beauty, the Taj Mahal won't last very long. The mausoleum is planning on closing down in a few years due to air pollution. The population is slowly deteriorating the exterior of the building and the wooden foundations are also rotting. So before it collapses completely, plan a trip to the Taj Mahal and see an emperor's last heartfelt gift to his beloved wife. Last and definitely not least, coming in at number seven, we have the Dead Sea. I mean, how is that disappearing? It's already dead. <laughs> okay. Ever had a salt scrub or even better, a dead sea salt scrub? It's known to have many beneficial effects such as healing, anti-aging, and relaxation. The salt from these scrubs comes from the Dead Sea, which is a sea bordered by Israel, Jordan, and Palestine. First off, let's clear any misconceptions, all right? The Dead Sea isn't a sea, it's a lake that's almost 10 times as salty as the ocean, also a lot more dense. If you want to float weightlessly, try having a swim in the Dead Sea. Sea. It'll be a unique experience. So why is the Dead Sea dying? Well, the Dead Sea is in desperate need of water. Its main source of water, the Jordan River, gives most of its water to other places. So every year, the Dead Sea loses around 2 billion gallons of water. That and sinkholes as deep as high rises are appearing along the coastline, which threaten the safety of tourists as well as the location itself. These sinkholes can also fuse to form huge craters. The popular tourist beaches are becoming emptier due to lack of water and appearing sinkholes and the Dead Sea is slowly disappearing day by day. So there you go guys, those are some places you really should visit uh, before they completely disappear from the face of this planet, which is really sad. Yeah, I want to change my place to Venice because I've never been to Italy and yeah. I always wanted to see Venice and I didn't think that it would disappear because it's know that? already on the water. Like, yeah, it's already you, on the water. It's on the water. That's why it could it, disappear sooner. I feel like, I feel like it, yeah, the water level will rise, but it's still going to be a city of water. You know, you know what place I feel like is going to eventually disappear? Where and that? I'm not putting a curse on it. Where okay. I feel like Manhattan, New York will eventually disappear. That is morbid, bro. Because uh, how? Because Manhattan is an island. Yes. Right? Yes. And there's like 20 gajillion things on it. Okay. Like buildings. Right. Uh, people. Right. The majority of the population in New York is in right. Manhattan. That's right. So you're, you're saying that one day it'll just like I'm thinking it's going to sink. Well, did you know that all the buildings and stuff is built on top of the ground? Yeah. But underneath, there's actually so many support systems by the subway. So in essence, the subway system is actually supporting the stuff on top. Well, nothing sounds safe because no. Manhattan is definitely overdue for a major hurricane. Uh, they say actually it's actually sinking a little bit. Okay. Also, did you know that Manhattan's sitting on a fault line? Did you know that? No one thinks that Manhattan is on a fault line. If you look this up, it's about, it's in East, it's in Harlem, 125th Street. There's a fault line there, people. Wow. Can I, can I also point out something? Mm -hmm. If there is, let's say, a major, a global emergency 
type situation happening in Manhattan. Okay. There are literally like 10 ways to get off the island. That's it. <laughs> like you're, you're, you're trapped. If the bridges collapse, you're done. The tunnels are done. Yeah. You're, you're going to have to swim off the island, my friend. Yeah. And that's not going to happen. Yeah. yeah. So like, like what happened with, uh, with that I Am Legend guy. Yeah. Blew Port off the bridge. Yeah. Also, um, Batman. Batman. Yeah. It's so easy to be trapped on Manhattan. So we should probably add Manhattan as the eighth place you should visit. So where would you go on this well, list? Well, I already said Venice is on my bucket list. It's okay. always been on my bucket list. Okay. So that's that's some place I've been uh, I've been wanting to go. I've been wanting to go to Italy. I want to go to Rome, okay. Venice, Florence, um, definitely uh, the Vatican. I would go to the Galapagos, but we did a story where there was a Godzilla-like creature there. So now I'm out. I heard about the story. I mean, this is not the Galapagos, but talking about huge lizards reminded me of this. Yeah. There was a uh, story about the Komodo dragon, which are just terrifying creatures. Huge, terrifying. And they climbed a tree where a man was sleeping in a tree house. No way. And ate off his foot. It can do that? It can climb trees? No, that thing is insane. That thing is like the craziest creature alive. It's basically a dragon dinosaur guy. It's a and dragon it will dinosaur. kill you. But anyway, dinosaur. guys, let us know where you would like to go before it disappears. And please, if you like our new channel, please uh, give it a like. Give this video a like. Give this channel a subscribe. It would mean so much to us. Yes. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.